video will show you how to use vectors to prove that the diagonals in a parallelogram bisect each other. Here's a parallelogram labelled up. Note that vector OA is labelled with a small a and OC is labelled with small c. So if the diagonals bisect each other then E must be the midpoint of both OB and AC. Okay, let's work out what OB is. Vector OB is C plus A. I'll write it in alphabetical order. And AC Vector AC is negative A plus C. We will now find two different expressions for OE. Okay, so OE is a fraction along OB. So we'll write that down as that we can find another root to describe OE by going up to A and then going a fraction along AC. So let's write that down. OE up to A then a fraction along AC so we can we can equate these two these two versions of the vector OE okay and let's expand the brackets group like terms, there's a tiny bit to do on the right hand side. Okay, so we can see by looking at the coefficients of A and C on both sides that that equals that from A and that equals that from C. Our next step is to treat these two as simultaneous equations. So substituting the second equation into the first, we get that lambda equals 1 minus lambda. And therefore 2 lambda equals 1 and lambda therefore equals a half. So, the second equation says that lambda equals mu, so therefore mu equals a half as well. We've shown that E is the same fraction along OB as it is along AC. And that fraction is a half. So therefore E is the midpoint of both the diagonals and the diagonals therefore bisect each other. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.